Jesse Allen here, Commodity Classic in New Orleans with the American Ag Network. We're talking with Brian Schwartz with Cenex CHS. Brian, great to catch up with you here at Classic. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Jesse? I'm fantastic. I appreciate the time, Brian. Let's talk a little bit about lubes. And obviously, you know, looking at 2022 here, we look at where the price of oil is and all these different things. A lot of people are seeing some sticker shock right now. But... We also got to remember that it's important to not cut corners. We, we got to make sure that we're we're still using what we need to use and not skimping, isn't it? Yeah, Jesse, when it comes to lubricants for your equipment, you really get what you pay for. Uh, you know, you can shop around and try and save some money on lubricants, but it really is a small input cost in the grand scheme of things. So when you only maybe do a couple oil changes a year on a lot of your farm equipment, it's really important to use a quality product when you do change the oil. Definitely. Well, we got to think about those lubricants here is, you know, we're going to be getting in the field pretty pretty soon. A couple weeks here, you know, in some areas we're going to be hitting the field. So it, it's definitely top of mind right now if you haven't done some of that stuff over the winter as you're starting to fire up some of that equipment again. Yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of normal to finish up harvest and uh, park it in the shed and relax. But, yeah, good time of year to get out there. Like I said before, make sure you're buying a product like Cenex that does have the quality built into it. Um, we, we've got a great, great lineup of products. Uh, we don't sell a second lower brand. Um, the products we sell are all top shelf. Uh, we sell three different diesel engine oils from uh, a conventional to a semi-synthetic to a full synthetic. Uh, just really sheer stable polymers that protect from the day you put that oil into your tractor till the day you take it back out. Fantastic. Well, you mentioned some of the products there, some of the different products you guys have. If folks want to learn more about all the various products that Senex has, I'm sure it'd be really easy to contact your local retailer, isn't it? Yeah, any of your local co-ops that are uh, Senex distributors, uh, you can go to Senex.com. Senex does a great job of putting all of their product sheets right up front with data sheets and, and safety sheets as well. So. Fantastic. Well, Brian, I appreciate a little bit of time here at Commodity Classic, and we look forward to a, uh, a busy but successful uh, spring planting season, and I appreciate you joining me here today. Thanks for the time. Yeah, thank you, sir.